one because I must be next for the surgery. Um, and of course, got these lovely, lovely sexy socks. Woo! Hi there, my name's Amy and I am documenting my weight loss journey. Last month, I flew out to Turkey on my own to get a gastric sleeve operation. It's something I've been considering for quite a while. However, the decision to actually get one was made in less than 24 hours because I'm a little bit insane like that. Um, but I had looked into it all. I had researched it all. It wasn't just a, a spur of the moment decision. It was just booking the flights and thinking, if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. So it was like a little bit of a last minute thing um, in that sense. Um, I've decided to document my journey and my process and air it onto YouTube for all to see and all to bear witness. Um, just because I'm trying to find a community that I can share experiences with. Um, I don't know if anyone else is considering going through this surgery or not, but if they are, um, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and recommend it for anybody because I'm only... Um, a month and a half in to my own journey and I feel like the proof isn't in the pudding until you know further on down the line so please bear that in mind when you're watching these videos um but any questions about my experiences so far I'm more than happy to answer um so yeah but hopefully this does land in the community that it is intended for um like I say um you know, only wanting like-minded, supportive people who want to encourage one another on their journey. Um, that would be great, but I know that there'll be a few trolls here and there. Uh, but hopefully you're not one of them and you're a pretty cool person. Um, so please do like and subscribe if you want to continue watching more of these videos about my weight loss journey. Um, so I'm documenting this just to kind of go through like a little log I suppose on recovery and processes and where I've been from start to finish. Um, I haven't told many people, um, not really, I kind of just disappeared in the night and thought actually I'm going to cause a lot of panic so I did end up telling my mum that I was um, off for surgery. I uh, told a close friend as well. Um, just so I did have somebody that knew where I was and what was what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I've, I mean, I've spoken about it quite a bit, so I don't think it's going to come to a massive shock with anybody because they know that it's something that's been on my mind for a while. Um, but I do think it's um, something that I've just had to keep secret, uh, for now at least, until maybe I've lost a significant amount of weight. <laughs> And then I feel like I might be more comfortable opening up about the whole procedure, etc. It's not that I'm ashamed of doing it because I feel like if you need help with something, get help with something. But what I don't want is for people's comments and negativity or, you know, why can't you do this for this? And just all of the comments, basically. Um, I just didn't really want to deal with um, people's comments on the whole procedure from whilst I'm in the recovery process and just try to get my head around a new, completely new lifestyle. Um, it's just one less thing to think about. I just thought, let's keep it done for a bit. But eventually, you know, um, when the proof is in the pudding, <laughs> not that there'll be much pudding anymore. So I got picked up at the airport um, by a lovely gent. Uh, the transfer over here from the hospital um, was, was very, very posh. Um, met two of the ladies who were also going through the same procedure. And they have, um, and uh, they've been lovely to me as well. One lady is doing it solo, one has brought her husband with her as well, so a partner. Um, and yes, we're all rested now for procedure day to day. So um, yesterday they just took some um, blood samples and lots of 
prodding him for Kane. Um, I've been given blood thinners, I've had an ECG and they've just run lots of tests to make sure that the procedure can go ahead for today. So fingers crossed, everything's going to be all right. I've got obviously my cannula in there and uh, a hospital. So I've had a few more tests this morning, um, a few people coming in and out. Um, had my blood pressure taken a couple of times. Um, the pulmonologist. Pulmon pulmonologist and the cardiologist have come and done all their bits. I've met the surgeon um, who's checked like my height and things and talk about my goal weight. Um, so yeah, uh, that should be amazing um, because of, I'm currently, well, the last time I weighed was 20 stone, seven pounds and they said that my goal weight would be 12 stone. So that would be fantastic. Um, something I've only ever like dreamed of, um, and I've met the dietitian as well. Um, she's come in really lovely, and she has um, just taken my um, measurements and um, it's supposed to be about BMI, um, and just reassured me ready for the surgery today and the recovery process, and um, just spoken loosely about the diet plan going forward so exciting times so I've been given some um, an inhaler prior to the operation it's oh, hopefully very real now I don't know if you can hear me properly but so I have just donned my gown because I must be next for the surgery um, and I've also got these don't they? not the sexy socks Woo. I'm from day post-op um, did my leak test this morning and I'm assuming everything was a-okay uh, because I've now been given some very delicious apple juice to drink um, so yeah, just sipping this slowly and uh, got some paperwork to read through about post-op uh, uh, surgery and um, what I can and can't eat and drink for the next um, few months or so whilst my body just to my new stomach. Okay, so I've been given some Also feels amazing to finally drink something. Uh, just about to be discharged to the hospital in about half an hour um, to an hour and so I've just packed up as much as I can but I think I will need a bigger bag because I um, didn't realise I'd be taking all the, well I knew I'd be taking the medicine back but I just didn't plan to take all the medicine back with me in my suitcase so I might have to ask once I go to the hotel if they might be able to go and get me a bigger suitcase to take everything back. Um, right now, um, so it's post up day two, and they've given me some milk, um, which was uh, lacto-free milk, which was quite nice actually. But the yogurt, I wasn't a fan of. Um, it was a bit too sour tasting, um, and then they've just brought up some soup. Although I do feel like soup's a bit far fetched for what it is. So this, you know. It's a soup, I don't know what that brain bit is, but um, yeah, it just tastes like hot water with a slightly greasy taste to it. I'm not sure how to explain it, but basically it's like hot water, but you can tell that there's obviously a little bit of something in there, but not much. Um, yeah, all going well. Um, my stomach's a bit bloated still, a bit gassy, um, but that's to be expected. Um, but yeah, been discharged and ready for flight home tomorrow. So as part of the recovery process, I had to suck and blow into this tube and walk up and down my room and the hallway plenty of times to relieve myself of any gas buildup, which they used to inflate my stomach so they could perform the operation. Um, here's a close-up of my incisions now. Don't worry, I'm not going to strip for you guys. It's not that kind of a show. Um, two in the side and one through the belly button and it was really minimally invasive. So I forgot to do a room tour when I arrived, so I'll do one now. Um, this is 
hospital bed, excuse um, the mess, obviously. I've uh, moved in and um, been here for the past three days. Um, so yeah, obviously that was all made fresh, lovely. Um, and he got some slippers. I think I brought my own though, but some slippers there and also came with a few little toiletries um, which you could use in the bathroom so that's here um so yeah this is the bathroom a really clean um and i did use a shower on the first night before rob but it did act because it's more of a wet room as you can see i did actually end up flooding outside but that was to be expected in they cleaned it up straight away so oops um but yeah he did bring a companion to stay with you i obviously came on my own but um if you brought someone to come with you they'd have stayed on this sofa bed um, i'm just packing ready to go to the transfer so excuse that and this is obviously the view and it is december but there's still blue skies and palm trees so it's really deceiving um but yeah obviously there's uh, the hospital next door is quite a large um large building so i am just waiting to have my teeth right in now um i thought why the hell not when in turkey might as well get the full work for the night so i can't wait to have these cleaned and sorted because they are me so yes i'm gonna look a whole new person going back it's really nice clean it's been awesome water in these snazzy glasses had my teeth done as you can see they look amazing now and are very white the um white bit here will go as well but yes very happy blind and people know thank you you too thank you so much for your help just checked into the um, hotel now so I'll just show you this this is the bathroom and TV desk lovely large double bed and mini fridge and um, things there and a wardrobe there what the view is like. Let's have a look. Oh wow. Turkish flag up there, look. Train station. So just an update. Checked into the hotel. Um my flight's tomorrow morning. Um finally on my own now, which is a bit daunting, um, not gonna lie. Not knowing that there's somebody there at the end of a blizzard to come and help you with any pain relief or if anything goes wrong. Um, I've got all my medication to take home and I have to start taking that myself tonight, including actually injecting myself, which I'm not so keen on. Um, but oh, I can't start looking at my new teeth, so. Hey girl. Hey girl. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but oh my gosh, this bed's amazing. It's massive gonna starfish tonight um yeah so i'm looking forward to getting home but it's gonna be a long a long flight back because it's um two planes i've got to take blood thinner which obviously will avoid clotting um on the journey oh she blinding she blinding oh my gosh they're so much better than what the way i had loads of well tar on the bottom i just Minging. So yes, I'm very happy. Oh, I can't stop smiling at myself. Oh, you're blinding me with your teeth. I've just had a shower. Um, it's been my first one post surgery. I had one before the night of surgery, and then I felt like a scruff for the past few days. I'm washing with baby wipes because I've just been. Although I have had waterproof dressings on, I've just been a bit nervous about getting things a bit damp, but. The shower in the hotel was just like too luxurious to not go and i just thought i can't get on the plane tomorrow feeling grubby um because the plane's just gonna make me feel grubby so 
um brave the shower luckily i'd like a loose head um so i could shower myself without putting too much pressure around my tummy area um although it did have one of those lovely like overhead showers um which i was a bit good that i didn't get, dare dare use um but yeah so i'm just gonna dry myself off now read up about my medication get out what i need to get out and then i'm gonna have to try and pack and repack because i'm still struggling to fit everything into the suitcases that i am struggling to fit everything um that i brought with me um into the suitcases before i set off um but now i've got all the medication tape back with me um so i didn't really think that one through very well before i set off so um yeah i'm gonna have to try and do some tetris <laughs> do a bit of tetris in the suitcase and hopefully everything will uh everything will work out hey guys so it's um 5 a.m uh, in turkey and I'm just tidying up the room now, packing everything up, um, ready to go back. My flight's um, at 12, but they're transferred to the airport's at half past eight, so just finishing a few bits. I can never really sleep properly um, when I know that I'm, I've got to be on a flight because I'm, I just know that I'd end up sleeping in and um, missing something, so it's kind of like anxiously waking up in the morning. Um, just gonna have a look at the view outside because the lights look amazing, so I'll show you. So I've checked out the room and I've um, just put some of the lacto-free milk in here. I didn't bother making up a shake. Um, just because I'd probably have to throw it away and it'd be a waste um, by the time I get to the airport just because I'm drinking quite slowly. What I did do though was um, for breakfast um, bar behind me. Obviously it's like a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, lots of delicious things out on display. <coughs> but um, obviously can't eat anything. But I did have some yoghurt. Uh, watered down with some room temperature water and that was um that was quite nice um yeah um so I'll just wait for my transfer now to go to the airport um it's almost 8 8 a.m so um at half past eight um the guy should be arriving so so then i've got um a flight to munich which is about 55 minutes and then a flight to from Munich back to Manchester. Um, so, yeah, that's a bit of a longer flight. Um, yeah, sadly, there are no direct flights to the north, um, but um, Claire, who came earlier, she, um, she um, managed to get a direct flight because she's from the south, so, um, yeah, lucky bugger. <laughs> So that is my time in Turkey on my own. Um, met some lovely ladies that I'm still in contact with now. Um, we've just got a little WhatsApp group and we check in and say, are you doing this? Has this happened for you? And just to make sure that we're all, we're all okay and still alive. Um, because, you know, it, it is a risky procedure and, you know, we want just want to make sure that we're all okay. And, you know, meet, meeting those goals and it's nice to have... Um, people to go that are going through it with you um like i say i'm hoping to put this out there into the world wide web um of youtube and just hoping that there's somebody else out there who might be going through the same thing or looking at doing the same thing and yeah it'd be really nice to um build that community so take care and see you in the next one